Nellie Toll is an amazing person to relay the story of what it means to transcend even the darkest of times through holding hope and through accessing the power of arts. Nellie was eight years old when she went into hiding in Laval, Poland. She and her mother were fortunate to have been given shelter by a Catholic family. Her mother was able to secure her access to a small box of watercolor paints that could keep young Nellie and her mind and her imagination active. She really told about her life through her watercolors, and that's what you see when you come to this exhibition. So the exhibition does its best to take the viewer through a parallel experience with Nellie, her imagined world and the reality of what was happening around her. But the activities represented are what we might take for granted as being mundane, but they were activities that, as a young girl, she missed very much. The opportunity to have a pet, conversations with her brother, an outing with her father, they represent a little girl who had the willpower and the vision to see that there was going to be a life beyond the war. And she sees the world uh, through the lens of possibility. You can't go through the exhibition and not be touched, moved, and inspired. Her work exists in the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum, Yad Vashem, in Israel. So those carry a lot of, it carries a lot of weight that her work is there. The vibrancy evident in Nellie's paintings are very reflective of the character of Nellie Toll today as an adult woman. She did pursue a degree in art and art therapy, and she went to school at Rutgers, and she's taught at University of Pennsylvania, and she still up until last year was teaching. There have been so many near escapes in her life. The fact that she has managed to survive them, and she is able to honor her family and the stories of six million other individuals who perished during that war is remarkable. And that is the reason why we're so grateful for the Decorative Arts Center of Ohio to be among those venues that tell her story and keep it alive. Because there will be a point in time when we have no one to tell the story first person.